How's it going there folks? This is Apple Tech back with you guys with the top 5 Cydia tweaks for your iOS 5 devices. Now like always if you guys enjoy these series just please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you guys want to see more videos like this hit that subscribe button right up there. If you guys also want to hit me up on Twitter or visit the site links in the description below. So with further ado folks let's jump right into these top 5 Cydia tweaks. So coming in at number 1 folks is called Allowed. You can find this one in the Insane AI repo for free. Now what this tweak simply does it gives your notification center banners a voice to it. So it's kind of like having Siri for any notification you receive. Now when you download this one you want to head over to your settings. You want to scroll down until you find it just right there. You can enable and disable this tweak which is always a plus for a tweak itself. Now in the settings panel you have a variety of options. You have your voice settings, applications, notification rules, custom formatting, activator and more. So I'll be trying to cover all of these. You guys can also download this one to mess around with them. Now the main focus on this is, is for it to read your notifications now you have your languages right here so say if you do not speak English you speak any other of these languages they have tons of different languages so you can pick the one that suits you now if we go back you also have a custom rate on how fast you want it to speak delay before speaking custom voice and then you have your Bluetooth option down here if you're using your Bluetooth headset you also have the applications that you want it to be in or you can have it to inverse so inverse just means these applications that you select you do want them or you don't want them depending on you I usually just have it to enable on all of them you have your notification rules which you can just configure all of these you guys can go over those by yourself and you have your custom formatting which you can have it to say the title and the message the title or just the message itself etc etc now I just recommend you to go into activator itself go anywhere and then just select any of these so say if I wanted to select double tap on the status bar which I have to set on the time and the date as you guys can see allowed has many of toggles you can have it to stop speaking you can have it to speak depending notification you can have it to re-speak your notifications current time and date setting state and if you just want to toggle allowed on now you can do all that from the activator application so I'm gonna quickly send myself an iMessage and you guys will see it read it out to me so let me just put test if I can spell it right test just like that and now I'm just gonna send it away and exit the app as you guys can see Message from a plaid edge. Test. so it stated my name or the person of the sender and the message within the text so that is much to what this tweak does once again folks it's an awesome tweak for people who want their messages to be read to them it's called Allowed. You can find this one in the Insane AI repo for free. Now coming in at number two, it's called Always Close. You can find this one in the Mod My repo for free. Now with Always Close, it kind of says it in the title itself. It always allows you to close your apps in your app switcher itself. Now normally when you're on your device itself and you double tap on your home button, you usually have to hold on one of the icons just like that just to get it into wiggle mode and then exit the apps you want. With this tweak installed, no need to hold on the apps itself. Simply double tap and as you guys can see, you have all those X's. So they're quickly to just dismiss just like that as seen just right there. So it just gives you a quick functionality on closing all of your apps without having to do that extra step on just holding on the icon itself. Just simply double tap and exit away. So folks, this is a matter of preference to your own liking. Once again, folks, it's called Always Close. You can find this one in the Mod My repo for free. No options to configure in your settings or on the springboard itself. Now coming in at number three, folks, it's called Carrot Count for Notes. You can find this one in the Big Boss repo for free. Now what this tweak simply does, as you guys can see on the screen right now, where it says today, you get 
numbers right there which just count up all the letters symbols spaces anything that you type in your notes it will count up all of those characters so if I just type in something random as you guys can see it's counting up on how many characters it also works with spaces same thing goes with symbols and numbers counts up anything that you type now the only reason I would find this interesting or useful for people is if they're jotting down memories, notes, anything that they want to jot down as a journal and then they want to know how many characters there are so they can post it on Twitter since Twitter has a 140 character limit or it just enables a function that you guys may want. Once again folks, it's a matter of preference tweak if you want to get it or not. It's called Carrot Count for Notes. You can find it in the Big Boss Repo for free. Tell me what you guys think about this city tweak in the comment section below now coming in at number four folks is called auto app killer you can find this one in the insanely i repo for free now when you download this one what this tweak simply does is just whenever you reach a limit on your ram itself it just auto closes and kills apps that you do not need in the background to get to that level that you set in the settings so what you want to do is you want to head over to your settings you want to scroll down until you find auto app killer now right here is where you configure it to your own options it goes all the way from 70 all the way to 300 depending on your device so say if I wanted mine to be at 2 let's say 262 just right there now you also have another option just allows you to always auto kill that one just automatically just closes any app so since I have it at 260 you guys can see my RAM towards the top hit 271 so now let me just start opening apps just like this let me open a game app so it can take super RAM just exit it and as you guys can see I'm at 239 219 it's just going down folks now if I double tap on the home button as you guys can see I have all those apps so it will recognize that my RAM is super low and it will just start auto killing apps in the background so folks that is mostly what this tweak does it's an iffy tweak if you want to get it once again it's called auto app killer you can find it in the insane AI repo for free so last but not least folks coming in at number five is called close enhancer one word you can find this one in the mod my repo for free now what close enhancer simply does it enhances the way you close your apps in your app switcher itself now when you download this one you want to head over to your settings once you get to your settings, you want to scroll down until you find Close Enhancer just right here. Now you can enable and disable this tweak itself. They have Close Type, which I have mine to swipe up. You can have yours to long press or double tap on the app itself. If we scroll down, we have a Close Box. This is sort of like Always Close, but it gives you the option to have a red minus sign or a black X, depending on the matter of preference that you set for yourself. Now down here you have two similar ways which you can close all the apps. Now you do this when you're in the app switcher itself. You can have to short hold the home or double tap the home button and it will just clear all your apps in the background. Now if you want to double tap the home button you will have to respring for that option. So once I am done configuring my options I will show you on how this works. So simply by double tapping the home button as you guys can see I have all of those red minus marks which just allow you to close them just like that. Now you also have those other features on swiping up, holding it, or double tapping it. I have mine to swipe up. So as you guys can see, I'm swiping up and it's simply just deleting the apps itself, which is very cool. Now say if I open some of all of these apps and I wanna do the one that I showed you, which was short hold the home button, and you do have to do this one while you're in the app switcher. So let me just exit, double tap the home button. As you guys can see, I have three of these apps. Say if I do not want to exit them, all I have to do is short hold the home button. And as you guys can see, all the apps just disappeared like that. Now you can also have this one to double tap the home button, which we're in the settings itself. So folks, that is mostly what this tweak does. Once again, it's called Close Enhancer. You can find this one in the Mod My repo for free. So folks, that much concludes my top five Cydia tweaks for your iOS 5 devices. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment, rate, and subscribe. As I said, all information of these tweaks and links to my social networks will be in the description below. So please check that out. So with further ado, folks, you guys know me. I'm Apple Tech. Catch you guys in the next one.